Hi, in this video, we will look at configuring per VPN QoS on Cisco SD-WAN. Starting with the release 20.6, Cisco SD-WAN now supports creating different QoS policies on a per VPN segment basis. Attached is the topology we will use for this step. We have an SD-WAN edge with two service VPNs, VPN1 and VPN2, connected to the hub. The interface bandwidth of the edge is shaped at 200 Mbps. Now we will create a per VPN QoS policy and restrict bandwidth for VPN1 to 10 Mbps and bandwidth for VPN2 to 30 Mbps. So let's begin. Let's go to policies. Let's choose a localized policy. Here I have already associated class maps to the respective queues and I've also defined the VPNs. Is VPN 1 and 2. Let's click next. Let's create a first QS map. Let's call this site QS map. Let's select Q1 and give it a bandwidth of 50. Similarly, let's add Q2 and give it a bandwidth of 30. That's our QS map. Let's save it. Now we can create different QS maps and associate them to our VPNs. However, for this demo, we will use the same QS map for all our VPNs. So let's go to VPN QS map. Add our VPN policy. Let's call this VPN QS map. By default, there is a default VPN. Let's go ahead and associate that to our QS map that we created. Uh, let's add a VPN. Let's give a minimum bandwidth of 10 Mbps, also a maximum of 10 Mbps. Choose a QS map to be site QS map. Again, we can create different QS maps, but for simplicity, we'll just use the same QS map across all our VPNs. Let's save. Let's add our second VPN and keep the minimum bandwidth of 30 Mbps. If you don't mention the maximum bandwidth, uh, the VPN has a capability to burst beyond its uh, maximum limit. Save a policy. Let's assemble our policy. Let's call this VPN QS policy. Let's save. Before attaching the policy, let's use iperf and check the bandwidth available for each VPN. Let's connect to a desktop on VPN 1. Let's do an iperf towards the hub. You can see we are nearly getting 200 Mbps of bandwidth, which is the shaping rate at the interface. Similarly, let's check from a desktop connected to VPN2. And again, we are seeing a bandwidth of nearly 200 Mbps on VPN2. So let's go ahead and attach the policy. So let's go to templates. Editor template. And attach a policy. Check the configurations. Let's see the per VPN configurations being pushed. 
the configuration is done let's go ahead and edit our interface template as well Let's define our QS map. When we enable Power VPN QS, we also need to enable extended anti replay setting under the security template of the device. In this demo, this has already been configured. Let's configure a Power VPN QS map. Let's save. Let's check the configurations. That's the PowerVPN QS configuration that would be pushed. Let's save. Let's go back to our desktops and do the IPERF again. And now we can see that the bandwidth is limited to about 10 Mbps, which was the configured bandwidth for VPN 1. Similarly, let's try it from the machine on VPN 2. And here we can see that the maximum bandwidth that the VPN 2 machine can get is about 30 Mbps, which was, was defined on the per VPN QS policy. Along with this, we can create data policy to match traffic and associate to respective forwarding class, which will provide priority within the per VPN QS shaping rates. Thus, with Cisco SD-WAN, we are now able to extend our QoS capabilities on a per-segment basis and provide necessary differentiated access that is needed. That's it for this demo and thanks for watching.